All right, so the divisional playoffs are in the history books, and wow, what a weekend it was. Um, before we get to uh, the AFC-NFC championship uh, predictions, I want to give my little recap of uh, the NFL divisional playoff weekend. So let's get right to it. Um, on my last week's video, I got all four predictions correctly. A sweep. Okay, let's get right to it. So we kick things off with the Atlanta Falcons beating the Seattle Seahawks 36-20. to Wow, I'm going to say, the Atlanta Falcons, they've had a great year. They've done a really good job this year. And um, it's it's been a pretty good year for the Atlanta Falcons. And, you know, I kind of saw this coming. Matter of fact, I really saw this coming. Not kind of, really saw it coming. That the Atlanta Falcons were going to beat the Seahawks in the Georgia Dome. So next, Patriots beat the Texans 34-16. Same old shit. You know, the huge. Who cares? Um, that was way too predictable, by the way. And the game of the night. The game of the weekend. This was a nail-biter. The Packers beat the Cowboys 34 to 31. What a nail biter that was. And I will give the Cowboys credit for coming back and tying the game and trying to take the lead. With that final drive with 35 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter and try to put the game away. Wow. Incredible magic by Aaron Rodgers. Doing that in less than 35 seconds, getting to the field goal range. And the way uh, Cook caught that ball, his two feet were in bounds before the knee hit the white line. Wow. What a spectacular catch by Cook. And Aaron Rodgers, he's been phenomenal. He's been phenomenal. And, um, yeah, now they're going to be playing against the Atlanta Falcons. We'll get to that in a little bit later. And last but not least, the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 18 to 16. You know, here's the problem with the uh, with Andy Reid. This has always been his problem and he never fixes the problem. He needs to fix the game clock. He has to work on the time clock. He does a bad job. That's always been his flaw even when he was the head coach of the Eagles. Clock management, he is very bad at. And, then, and last night was no different. No, they blew it. They blew their chance of trying to win the game. And, you know, probably the Kansas City Chiefs need to move on and find another head coach soon. Because you can't keep doing that. And Andy Reid doesn't learn from his mistakes. Time management has not... Always been good on his favor. He's terrible at it. He can't control the clock. He does this all the time. He's done this most of his career as a head coach for the Eagles and the Chiefs. And last night's game was no different. And he doesn't learn from his mistakes. So that's my uh, recap of the divisional playoff games. Now I'm going to move on to the AFC-NFC Championship Games. Boy, we got some blockbuster games. Oh, where do I start? Where do I start? Let's go with the NFC Championship first. The Green Bay Packers against the Atlanta Falcons. This is a coin flip. Julio Jones is not 100% with his foot. I don't know if he's playing Sunday. And if he's not playing, that's going to sort of hurt the Atlanta Falcons. But Aaron Rodgers, lately he's been on major fire. Even if you try to beat him down, he'll come back and create some magic. I can see the Packers 
winning this game. I'm picking the Packers to win. But this game could go either way. But if I had a choice, I'm picking the Packers to win. And now, to the AFC Championship. The Pittsburgh Steelers against the New England Patriots. This is a coin flip. The Patriots are not playing the same team that they played a couple months back when they played against the Steelers. This is not the same Pittsburgh Steelers team at all. It was a little bit different when the Patriots played them. But this is a way different Steelers team. You know, throughout the years that I've watched the NFL and watching the playoffs over the years, when the Patriots and the Steelers met, the Patriots always managed to win over the Steelers. And I've seen this happen three times in my lifetime. I've only seen it three times. In the 96 season, in the 2001 year when Tom Brady first started, and when Ben Roethlisberger first started, New England has always managed to emerge victorious against Pittsburgh. And the last two games that I remember were in uh, were in Pittsburgh, but they're playing in Fos in uh, Foxborough at Gillette Stadium. You know, six times, this is the sixth time that New England has went to the AFC Championship. There might be a serious problem with the AFC Conference. That nobody challenges the Patriots. The only team that can challenge this team this year is the Steelers. This is the team that can match up and try to stop the Patriots of going to the Super Bowl. And I know Patriots fans don't want to hear it. And it's not me being a hater. I just want to see a different team go to the Super Bowl. I'm tired of the Patriots going to the Super Bowl year after year. And I'm really getting tired of the Patriots going to the AFC Championship. And this is the sixth year. The sixth year. What does that tell you about the AFC Conference? If there's a football god up there, I pray for the Steelers to win over the Patriots. The football gods in heaven, I pray for the Steelers to win the AFC Championship against the New England Patriots. By hook or by crook, Ben Roethlisberger has to create some magic and go to the Super Bowl to represent the AFC Conference. I want to see the Steelers win. I want to pick the Steelers to win. This is a very important game for the Steelers. This is the most important game for Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, and Ben Roethlisberger's careers. I want to see the Steelers win. I'm tired of seeing the Patriots go to the Super Bowl. I'm tired of the Patriots going to the AFC Conference Championship. This is good. They're going to have to play their asses off big time. So I'm picking the Steelers to win. I feel like they can do it. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not doubting Tom Brady. I know he's capable of. I'm not doubting Bill Belichick's coaching decisions. Because I know he's capable of. So there you go. I'm picking the Steelers to win this game against the Patriots. So, all right, that's about it for my uh, 
prediction video. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe today. If you haven't, follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Links are down below in the subscription box. I'm CJ Hawk 85 Have a good week.